Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, listen, John's got like 20 minutes, so once we get him in here, we'll get into this whole thing that's going on in Georgia. I want to make sure I take some time to... Um, to to really talk about this and i believe on wednesday we're going to have jordan stein of goa come on to discuss this uh further um you know there's there's quite a few people working on this um i think all of this stuff that we're talking about we could block it uh with the senate and getting control of the senate so with that being said i think we should get into this conversation for about 20 minutes with John, who wrote the article, uh, let me throw this article up here if you guys don't know. If you're watching or listening, I'll read out the uh, title of it. It's uh, Georgia's Must Win U.S. Senate Election Guide 2020, video and volunteer link. So and if you flip through it, there's a good article here that uh, John wrote, and it talks about the candidates in the race, um, shows you some stuff from the, uh, from the other side, um, gives you some good information. John, what's up, man? Can you hear us now? You're muted. Went from too much sound to not enough. Yeah. Let's see if we get... Uh... Now your audio's off. Yeah, louder. <laughs> Doesn't matter how... L- Use a USB microphone. That would be my advice. Plug in a USB microphone and use that. Okay, so okay, we're still waiting. Uh, we're still waiting on John to to get that up. Here's another article that um, I think I would like to share with you guys as well. Uh, this, John, you're you're still muted. <laughs> it's just <laughs> funny looking at his face over there in that screen. Um, here's here's another. This is from uh, GOA. GOA has this out. I don't know whether or not you guys support GOA. Um, so a pro 2A Senate majority is within reach. We almost have the Senate. Um, after a long night, gun owners are still waiting for the result of the 2020 presidential election, and not much more can be done for now. But we are ever so close to victory in the Senate as votes pour in for the undeclared elections for GOA-endorsed candidates like Senator Perdue in Georgia and John James in Michigan. All eyes are turning to the special Senate election. The fate of the U.S. Senate may rest with Senator Lofer's special election in Georgia, which is only just heating up. Um, Did we? Okay, so we don't. All right, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. I got a Yeti, man. A blue Yeti at my home studio, my home computer. So don't. I got a USB microphone, Hank. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Hank. (laughs) All right, so tell us about this article, John, and what exactly is going on here. If you could break it down for us and then these guys might have questions or people in the audience might have some questions okay so basically what we have to assume that uh and angle your camera down a little bit please sorry i like your look your yoda collection in the background but i want to see the i want to see you we want to see the cranium there you go all right awesome all right so how does that work (laughs) <laughs> come on hey hey keep me up on the text and like hey can you come on for a couple of minutes i said okay yeah uh okay so basically what is going on is uh we have to assume that trump is not going to be reelected. i've talked to some people behind the scenes and uh it's not looking too good and this is actually from people working on the actual legal challenges mm-hmm. uh they said that it's not 100 percent over, but it's still not uh, that looking good. So we have to assume yeah. that Biden is going to be president. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Democrats are going to hold the House, barely. And they have a chance to win the Senate if they take both races in Atlanta. Not Atlanta, but Georgia. Mm-hmm. So we need to really work hard to get those Republicans elected. Schumer, Chuck Schumer, would be the leader of the Senate if the Democrats win both both elections. Oh, just for that, yeah. There's no way I can't. Yeah, we can't have that at all. Well, he is yeah. he is open to getting rid of the legislative filibuster. The legislative filibuster is like a stopgap of any bad legislation. So without the legislative filibuster, they can push through any 
any type of law that they want, and they will push through anti-gun laws. He's mm-hmm. open to that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people say, well, you know, we have the Supreme Court. Well, all they need to do to add people to the Supreme Court and then expand it to 13 people is to pass a simple bill, and if they don't have a legislative filibuster, then they can easily do that and pack the court with 13 anti-gun people, which they would do. Mm-hmm. If you look at the Biden-Harris plan, it's just crazy. Mm-hmm. I, myself, would be close to a half a million dollars in NFA fees mm-hmm. under, under, their, under their plan, mm-hmm. which or I can sell it to them for a pittance of the cost, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. isn't going to happen. I'm not going to do it. So, right. Don't worry about it. So we need to work to get these people elected. Uh, GOA has been on the forefront of the national groups and, and, and the Georgia races. I'm not just saying that because I'm a GOA person. Mm-hmm. But GOA, they've relocated uh, some staff members down there. Uh, Jordan, who's going to be on your show, is relocating to Georgia, and he's going to be down there during Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Which is working right through Thanksgiving, door knocking. Uh, we need people to text and everything else. The two Republican candidates we need to really push is Kelly Loeffler, who at first, honestly, I was not a fan of when Brian Kemp picked her because uh, there were some dealings where she given some money to anti-gun politicians, but mm-hmm. she was a WBA owner and it was her corporation, not her giving the money. But that's what people have to really understand. Mm-hmm. In the Senate, so, like so, yeah, rating. right. I'm showing, I'm showing your article right now. So she's Republican, a plus rated by GOA and NRA, right? Yeah. Uh, she has been co-sponsor on the uh, hearing protection act to remove it. Pressure mm-hmm. from the NFA. Okay. Uh, she was co-sponsor in the bill that restored veterans' rights to own guns mm-hmm. when they took it away. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was co-sponsor in the National Concealed Carry Bill. She vehemently opposed red flag laws, uh, and she's been a surprise. She's been one of the best senators on 2A in the whole Senate, which was really shocking because I thought she was going to be one of the weakest. Okay. She 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 is probably tied because she's never voted for a gun bill and she's co-sponsored every pro gun bill that's been in the Senate mm-hmm. while she's been in there. So she's been really really good. Okay. Uh, she's been outspoken. She's endorsed. She's embraced our endorsement, even though like there's every town and all those groups are trying to push these weird conspiratorial conspiracy theories mm-hmm. push a conspiracy theory that GOA is conspiracy theorist and we know that mm-hmm. they're the one pushing the conspiracy theory mm-hmm. I don't get it mm-hmm. their opponents are also very anti-gun they're the opponents when you look who've endorsed them it's like Moms Demand Action Giffords Every Town the Brady Organization so they have, both their opponents are very, very anti-gun, and both are committed to passing everything that Biden wants in his gun plan, which okay. means if they both get elected, that's what we're going to get. And we're not going to have the Supreme Court to to protect us from that. Uh, one of them is a minister. The one that's running against uh, Lothner, I believe, mm-hmm. is a minister, and he is known for giving anti-gun statements in front of his church. Uh, I listened to a couple of them, and they are very, very anti-gun. Yeah, and I'm playing this video of him eating a pizza with a fork. Sacrilege. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Who does he think he is? My my family is. Although, let's be honest, I've seen Trump do the same thing, but whatever. Wow. Yeah, it's still still wrong. It's still wrong. doesn't matter who does it. True Italians eat, eat it with a fork, though. Huh? True Italians eat it with a fork. Go to Italy. You'll see. And what do you expect from the Italians? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Italians are Italians, the national, so I can't say too much. Uh-huh. So, okay, so, this, that guy doesn't look Italian, but okay, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Oh, basically, we need to be but at least one. Two would be incredible because mm-hmm. I don't want to be running around in the woods with my AK 47 and 7 yelling Wolverines. 
fighting a tyrannical government. So I think this is a question that Rolando had. Do we need both of these seats or it's is one, one, a, a, one a victory in and of itself? If, if we get one, they'll give, us, they'll give the Republicans 51, Senate, 51 seats in the Senate. Remember, if Harris is going to be VP, they don't need to have a majority. They just need to have half. They just mm-hmm. need to have 50. So we need 51 Okay. All right. By the way, Flying Rich says when pizza is crazy hot, I eat it with a fork. Um, yeah. That happens when. Okay. Okay. First of all, uh, Flying Rich is crazy. That, yeah, wait so, for it to cool down, yeah, right? I mean, I yeah. thought that's what everyone dude, did. Dude, <laughs> it's really simple to eat pizza. You fold it, you let the oil drip off of it, and you eat it. If it burns the roof of your mouth, so be it. <laughs> Just tail like a man and eat it. Hot, okay? You, you're putting garlic on there anyway, so it's not going to help. You, you're going to get the hot breath anyway, so what can I say to you? you know. uh, did you tell me I'm suing the governor again? Uh, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Okay, so there's two there's two candidates that we want to support here, right? So um, so the first candidate, just for just for uh, for folks out there who are not looking closely at this, is Kelly Loafer, right? Loeffler, excuse yeah. me, Kelly Loeffler. And then the other one is uh, David Perdue, right? Correct. And you don't have to be in Georgia to support these candidates. Okay. This might be a Georgia election, special election, mm-hmm. but it is critical that these guys win. Yeah. So you can sign up. Uh, in fact, in the article, I think there's a GOA link where, where we actually made it very easy to volunteer to send texts mm-hmm. or, or make phone calls if you're not in Georgia. And if you're in Georgia, we made it very easy to door knock mm-hmm. and you'll meet me down there because I'm going to go down there. Oh, so you're going to be down there. So people can help out. You could find these guys. You could find these guys' social medias. You can help share their message, get their message out there. Um, I'm sure that we all have friends and family that live in Georgia. We can encourage those people to vote. There's a lot of things. Uh, there's something that everyone could do. I want to get to these things real quick here. And then I'm going to come- make one more point. Yes, go ahead. Mox Torre and Black Guns Matter is joining forces with GOA to basically go down there and help out Lochner and cool. uh, Purdue. Okay, uh, awesome. They're going to be doing a, uh, a Black Guns Matter event in, in Atlanta and also Savannah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, hopefully someone uh, will be there to help him actually figure out how to use an RV. I know it's not easy. I know it's not. I've been looking at his I've been looking at the strife of with the RV thing. But that's great. So he's going to be on the ground. Uh, GOA is going to be on the ground there. Yeah. When I called him, he was like, he was like, I'm already planning on going down there. <laughs> yeah. So he, was, he was down. He was like. I understand what's at stake, and I 100% agree, and I'm already planning on being down there. So yeah. I was like, all right, well, let's team up. Let's get this knocked out of the park. Yeah, what's the timeline on this? When uh, is when is this vote happening? January 5th. January 5th, you said? Yeah, so basically okay. it's really weird. Uh, the Senate actually starts on, like, January 1st, so mm-hmm. for the first five days, uh, Georgia senator will be Lochner and Purdue. Um, after the five days, it could be whatever. Oh, okay. Hopefully, hopefully. It'll so be both of these people are incumbent. They're both incumbent. Well, the okay. way Georgia's election works is that you have like a bunch of people run from Republicans and Democrats. So it's like no primary. It was just everyone runs, uh, and then if no one gets fifty percent of the vote then it goes to a runoff, and that's what we're in. Uh, Purdue barely uh, missed uh, getting 50%. He got like 49 point some percent. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Republicans are, uh, on paper, they were looking good. Right now the polls have kind of evened. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the growth, um, uh, this pouring money into Georgia, Bloomberg spending millions through all those foreign groups. You have not only the, the anti gun people, but mm-hmm. Kelly Lochner is like very pro life. Okay. Which, is, again, WNBA gave money to Planned Parenthood, but yes, she's pro life, and Planned Parenthood and Nora and all of them are totally against her and also Purdue. Okay. Uh, beliefs. There, you have all these like liberal organizations going after them, flying people in from California. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the California Democrats are sending people. Uh, and they're actually encouraging people to break the law and mm-hmm. just move there temporarily to vote, which is a felony. Insanity. Yeah, yeah but also a felony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though Andrew Yang was uh, promoting that. Yeah, they, they don't care. They don't care if you do it. But they're not the ones that's going to be in prison. Okay. Yeah, it does people that they encourage to do it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, and I think you and I were talking about this earlier, right? Someone has to be willing to prosecute those people. Yeah, and but the Georgia, the Georgia is willing to prosecute them. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me right. let me get this in real quick here. Um, so Alpha Charlie Concepts said a while ago, with the number of rhinos in the Senate, we most definitely need both seats. I agree with that. <laughs> well, the, well, the thing is. We once we both seats would be great. Uh, we have a lot of rhinos in the Senate. Mm-hmm. That is true, but there's not a super majority with the rhinos. Mm-hmm. We need, do need both seats, and that would be awesome. One, I think we could still head off like all the gun stuff. Plus, Mitch McConnell already said he's not going to bring any anti-gun stuff to the floor, so he can just table everything. Mm-hmm. If, if we still have control of the Senate, and he's done that, and I don't think he's going to, I'm not the biggest Mitch McConnell fan, but I don't think he's going to introduce any in any anti-gun stuff into the Senate. Yeah, so but I would still try to get both, just I'll as a backup. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and then Atomic Bulls, I think, makes an excellent point here that we need to think about. But we should also think about trying to flip someone on the other side. But here's Atomic Bull's uh, point. He says 51 to 50, then Romney switches parties, dot, dot, dot. We need both. You never know. Romney could do anything. Yeah. um, Yeah, I I think for Harry behind the scenes, I'm not going to say too much about this because I don't want to jinx anything. But I will give you a little nugget of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Uh. There is someone that's close to switching uh, sides. On the on the Democrat side? Uh, maybe I shouldn't say. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. No. All right. Well, By the way, shout out to 13C Gun Reviews. I see he's out there. He says, great group tonight. I uh, wish he could stay, but he's swamped. By the way, you guys need to uh, follow him. Go search 13C. I know they deleted his Instagram, which really sucks. Um, but follow him on his backup social medias. And, and I believe he has a backup on, I think it's 13C Media on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow if you're on Instagram. Okay, so so let's get back to what the folks, I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know if Richard or Rolando, you have any questions? No, no, so far, no. No, okay. I think this pretty much goes with uh, what we've been talking about and what we already know. It, it kind of is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to figure out how to, like, I think, you know, everyone could do something like we said before, right? Everyone could do something. Even if you're not there, there's things you could do to help get the message out there. Um, what what are the people on Twitter. Huh? But make phone, you can sign up to make phone calls. You can sign yeah. up to make texts. You can talk to people in Georgia that you know. Uh, yeah. And something that's very crucial is money. I hate I hate to be the one to say it, but the other side, the special interest on the on the left is pouring tons of money into Georgia, mm-hmm. and where we can combat that with grassroots efforts. But in the end, you need money. Yes, absolutely. Uh, money makes the world go round here. Um, you know, it's one of the things that we're severely lacking. You can bet that Bloomberg and Soros and everybody else is, uh, and all those celebrities in Hollywood are pouring a ton of money, ton of money in there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.